So as you guys may not know already, um, you can, with the free game that I mentioned, by the way, welcome back to Frosted Tech. So uh, we're looking at my computer right now with the two 980 Ti for the win editions in it right now. Um, as you guys may not know, the new graphics cards like this one right here, the uh, Gigabyte and NVIDIA or whoever it may be um, that makes aftermarket cards that you can get a free game with through NVIDIA, um, they do not allow you to, I just tried to install it on my two 980 Ti's when they're still in the system, and they do not allow you to do that. You have to have the new card in there. So it's kind of like a proof of purchase type of thing. So we're going to uh, zoom in the camera for you guys, and we're going to watch me take out those two cards and put this card in. Basically, we're going to perform a little bit of surgery. So what do you guys say to that? So let's go ahead and zoom in, and I'll probably fast forward this part for you guys. All right, guys, looks like we are okay with the installation and everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some benchmarks for you guys, and we'll come back after a while. Okay. All right, guys, so as you guys saw at the end of that video, um, there, I was going to tell you that there was going to be some benchmarks or whatever. So actually, I'm going to show you guys some benchmarks right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the installation part of that graphics card. Um, it's, it definitely takes up a lot of room compared to my two 980 Ti's that were in there. Um, this is a two and a half slot card and the 980 Ti's were only a two slot card so it is quite a bit thicker, uh, maybe just a little bit longer. My power cords, uh, you guys saw me fighting with those a little bit, they barely fit. So um, let's go ahead and show you guys some benchmarks. I'm gonna run Unigen Valley and we're gonna run it as high and as hard as I can get that card to go. So um, I already have all my settings tweaked up, so let's go over to the monitor here. I'm not gonna run a capture, uh, screen capture system like uh, Marillis in the background because it, it takes too much of a frame per second hit and I want you guys to see it raw as it is on 1080p ultra settings uh, with MSAA on and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get into that. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run Valley Benchmark at max settings. You guys will be able to see firsthand how this performs. So I'm gonna to try to focus on the top right hand of the screen here. And we'll try to focus a little bit for you. So we're running currently 170-ish, 200 frames per second. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the benchmark tool. So we're benchmarking right now. It is running literally stable Let's go ahead and look at the bottom. It is running stable at 2,088 megahertz and 5,691 megahertz on the memory. So the core is at 2088. Temperatures are not, I, I did run this for about two hours before, and temperatures did not even go over 60. So we're actually getting towards the end of the benchmark. I'm going to let you guys know real quick what the score is uh, once we get to that point. I think there's only one scene left. Okay, we're still averaging 153, 154, so it's actually doing really, really well. 155. 
So my score was 64.75. Uh, average frames was 154.7. That's just overkill. On an i7 6700K CPU at running at 4.7 gigahertz. So guys, really awesome test. Um, I'm really excited for this card. It's a little bit more powerful than what, what my 980 Ti's were. It's actually on par, but once I overclocked it, it was a lot better so um, I don't think I'm gonna SLI this card maybe maybe in about six months or so I'll SLI it I'm, I'm just not sure maybe if I go uh, three 1440p screens at 144 Hertz uh, you know people really don't need that I probably will go like 120 Hertz or something like that or 100 Hertz or, or 60 Hertz is just fine anyway but um, I want that super fluid gameplay. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, what do you think of the benchmarks? If you guys have a 1080 Ti of yourselves, um, yourselves, go ahead and follow me down on Twitter and post your uh, screenshot of your score with a 1080 Ti on Twitter so I can see it myself. Um, anyways, guys, it's been Frost Tech. It's been really fun installing this card, and I'm going to go have some fun with it. We're going to play some Battlegrounds. Um, I actually got Ghost Recon Wildlands for free with this card, so we're gonna, I'm actually going to play the crap out of that. But anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Stay frosty.